right, you guys. Happy, happy Monday. <clears throat> I just want to jump on here really, really quick. Um, just to talk about, um, you know, failure is not an option. So for those of you who, who don't know me, my name is Katisha Willis. I'm the owner and founder of Intuitive Medical Coding Made Simple. Hey, Tasha. Um, thanks for joining. Um, I'm a certified medical coder instructor. Hey, thanks for joining. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, hey, Donald. Wow, guys. <laughs> Y'all throwing me off today. Oh, goodness. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so I'm a certified medical coder, um, instructor, mindset, and mentor coach. Basically, what I do in my company is I help aspiring medical coders get unstuck and push through any coding obstacles. My company customizes uh, medical coding programs, specifically the CPC which is through the AAPC. <clears throat> so that is what I do. Um, the main reason why I want to hop on here because I need my aspiring coders to understand that failure is not an option. If you have failed your test, it's, it's not the end of the world. Does it cost money? Luckily with AAPC, you get two tries. So you dust yourself off and you get moving again. But I'm coming on here because what you guys are going through, I have experienced it as well. The thing about this is you must be, thank you, you must be willing to get uncomfortable, to invest in yourselves, to not just be stagnant and let failing a test by one point or 10 points stop you from excelling to that next level. You need to be comfortable and confident in your coding. This is why most coders fail the test. One reason is because the information looks foreign. Though you spend all your money at schools, these commercial schools, um, you're still not getting the full benefit of the services you guys go to these schools and you pay tens of thousands of dollars for something that you can do for twenty five hundred to three thousand dollars and so it amazes me when you come to my program because i offer mentorship i offer just you know going through each domain in my cpc review a mentorship coaching program. I am there to hold your hand and push you through. It's not just about getting to that finish line, but getting through the finish line and being able to own what you are doing. If you are trying to get certified and you have failed your test or you feel as though you're not as confident about your coding, you should be inboxing me. You should be inboxing me like it's no tomorrow. There are many students that have inboxed me for mentorship and hands down, I just teach it in a way that nobody else teaches it because nobody is Katisha. And I'm confident with that. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of what I represent and the value of my information that I'm putting out here. Hey, Janie, I, I am, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to do it. You know, and I give 150%, 200% of me, everything for me to sit here talking to you guys right now about something that I'm so passionate about, something that I just truly love, that I have taken just getting a simple certification into teaching, into a business. Think about how your life would be transformed and transitioned if you could do that. Hey, Danielle. So yeah, thanks for joining. So just think about that transformation. So many people are in the mindset of failure, failure, failure. Hey, Heather, it's really not failure. I mean, at the time when I took my test, I remember failing. And I failed by one point, not 10, not five, one. So please understand me that these people that sitting at the state board scanning your test through a machine, do not care about you in terms of what you're doing. They are putting your test through a machine and the calibration is going 
And it don't matter if it's one point, two point. You, they're not going to give you anything. So what I'm trying to let my future coders know is this. Do yourself a favor. Inbox me so that you can have a better understanding of guidelines. I always invite you guys to become a member in my group, Intuitive Medical Coding Made Simple, because I always give tips. I'm always talking about how you can code better, what you need to be looking for. This is a passion of mine. So though I'm sitting here in front of you right now and we're talking about coding, when I get off here, I got my head in a book. I am investing in myself. I am hiring mentor coaches to help me as well to be the very best person that I can be. I want to give you the best version of me, the best version of me. So, yeah, though I sit here, I'm speaking to the coders that have failed their tests before. I'm speaking to the coders who are struggling with being confident, don't understand the rationale behind um, coding scenarios. Um, because it can be a struggle. It can be a struggle. So, I wanted to hop on here and just talk about it. Let, just, just, let's just chat it up about it because at the end of the day, it's all about you getting to that next level. What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to lay on the line? None of this stuff is easy. None of it. None of this is easy. To be a coder is like you have to think like a doctor. You almost have to like have this stuff. You have to know how that doctor has went into that body and, and, and how these things have, have happened. And the only way to do to be as good at something like this is to look at how procedure is done, understand the anatomy, have things put in layman terms, help you to better understand, you know, just different things that they're going to be testing you on, you know, and that's what being a part of intuitive medical coding made simple is all about is about, you know, attracting the very best and people who want the very best for themselves. Anytime that anyone reaches out, messages me, it is all about just being responsive, showing up for you guys. I have done today, I have done three videos and I have been running my mouth and I love it. I love running my mouth because I love what I do. I absolutely love what I do. And so when you love what you do and you're passionate about it, you're going to show up. And the more that you guys see me, hey, how you doing? The more you guys see me, the more you show up. Hey, Whitney, yes. Yeah. So I am all, uh, I'm all about just building those connections. I tell people all the time, Stop worrying about what this person over here is doing and that person over there is doing. Worry about what you need to be doing, not only for yourself, because you're trying to get to the next level. That's just like all, all everybody that's doing businesses and stepping out on faith. Why you can't commit to yourself and step out and get to the next level? Yes, you may not be an entrepreneur, but you can position yourself and align yourself accordingly and properly. That way you don't have to be living from paycheck to paycheck, but you're actually building something for yourself. And that's that's what it basically boils down to. Building something for yourself, for your kids. Just being able to just being able to do that. You know, so I'm hopping on here today because I know that there are coders that's probably going to come in and they're going to see this information and they're going to want to reach out. So what I suggest to you guys that if any of this resonates and it makes sense and it makes sense to you to share the video out, because though you may not want to have uh, do the mentorship services or any of that. Maybe another coder might want to. Maybe another coder needs to. Maybe another coder is willing to commit to themselves that they want to be better than just what they are right now. So I just want to commend all you guys who are out here busting your butt, working hard to get to that next level. But I really want to make sure that you understand that failure is not an option. If you inbox me and you let me know specifically what you need, 
I definitely can help you. I have open enrollment for the CPC Review Mentorship Program right now. So if you inbox me, I'll take, you know, I'll give you that information. You can also go to my website, which is intuitivemed.org. Um, I have all my um, courses on there. I have um, a separate course for just diagnosis coding, period, for those of you who just want to take that course as a refresher. So it's totally, you know, the ball is in your court. It's really in your core and it's only what you make it, only what you decide to make it. So if you decide to stay stagnant and you decide not to transition and you decide not to transform your life, then that's on you. But if you are trying to take action, be a go-getter, build, have self-confidence about what you're doing, then if, if that's you, then you can then inbox me, take action because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to mentor and make you a better coder. That's what I want to do. That's my passion and me helping you better understand what's going on. That's only going to perfect your, it's only going to perfect you in the long run. You're going to be that go-to coder that everybody else wants to go to. And despite maybe failing the test, I have failed the test before. I have failed it, cried like a baby, got back up, dust myself off, did it all over again. So it's really about being determined. Being what you are designed to be. Pushing through. I don't just want to help you guys get to that finish line. I want to help you get through it. You know, because to obtain the certification is one thing. To maintain it is a different thing. And to constantly be evolving in the industry is another thing. And so I speak to that because you must understand that at the end of the day, no matter what you do, what industry you in, you always have to be re reinventing what you're doing, evolving with the industry, evolving with what you're doing. If you don't want to evolve and you just want to stay stuck, then you stay stuck. But I tell everybody, if you feel stuck, then move. If you feel stuck, figure it out. No need to sit here and just be, uh, oh, I can't, I don't understand. I, no, it's no reason. Just inbox me. It's no reason. Just every, just get up and move and get yourself out of that rut. Stop living that, you know, paycheck to paycheck. Figure it figure this thing out. If you are a coder and you have failed your exam, if you are, if you already have a certification and you don't feel confident enough about your coding and you want to have a mentor, inbox me. Inbox me. That's all you need to do. Inbox me. It's a service that I provide. If you want to enroll in the CPC um, review mentor, mentorship program, coaching program, inbox me go to my website it's intuitive um intuitivemed.org it has all the courses it's very super 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 simple to sign up if you want more information about any of the courses that i provide please inbox me at katisha willis or intuitive medical coding um made simple and i invite you to come and be a part of my tribe in my group which is intuitive um medical coding made simple i have a private group um that goes over the different coaching over the different coaching um things that i do mentorship that i do it even goes into the guidelines like i go in there and i basically teach you get a teacher and because that's what I am, an intuitive medical coding made simple, and you get somebody who is just very down to earth and just really genuinely just want to help, just really, really want to help get that next person to that next level. I have been right where you guys are. It's nothing short of amazing how I'm here and how I'm able to lead and project what it is that I want. I I want you guys to just come over, you know, send me a friend request in the group at intuitive medical coding made simple answer the questions um it's just that simple and if you need anything inbox me at katisha willis or intuitive medical coding made simple um you can even send me information from my um, website as well but yeah failure is not an option let's stop acting like 
we don't know how to move. We don't know how to get up and dance. We don't know how to, you know, maneuver things. Stop acting like that. Let's not let money be a, a issue for us because there's payment plans. Let's let's just be innovative. Let's step outside the box. Let's stop being so comfortable and let's get uncomfortable. That and let's see what that's gonna do. Let's see what what is being uncomfortable going to get you. I know when I got uncomfortable, that's when I saw it the most. When I got uncomfortable and I started just being open to what God is blessing me with being able to have a voice, finding my voice. I can't even stress to you guys the 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 Nate's level. It was like pew, like I was gone. So the fact that I'm able to do these lives the way that I do these lives and actually I love doing lives. I I want to do more of them. Um it's, it's nothing short of amazing where I am right now. The, the path to here has not been easy, but it has definitely been worth every penny, nickel, dime that I have spent. And all my attention to detail has really paid off in my business and has really made me such, you know, I feel so good in the inside and outside with what I'm with the value content that I'm putting out. So, you know, with that being said, if, guys, if you need me, inbox me if you're ready to take action. Um, go to my website, intuitivemed.org. There's tons of courses on there. If you want to um, get with me to take a course, I do a lot of live instruction, one-on-one -on -one instruction. So, yeah, just please inbox me. You need tutoring, inbox me. It's, it's that simple. It's nothing difficult about medical coding. It's just me being able to give you more clarity. That's all it is. You will excel on the exam if you just do a few simple things and really pay attention to certain things. And that's what I'm there for. That's what mentorship is all about. Being able to guide and lead someone in the right direction so that they can excel and get to their next level. So with that being said, I'm going to call it a night because I've been running my mouth. <laughs> I've been running my mouth. So anyways, um, you guys have a great evening and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye.